Okay, so today I'm going to give you a brief overview of how to navigate the Cloud Retailer Back Office application. Um, so this is what you see immediately after you log into the application with your username and password, and this is the dashboard. So I see my average total sales compared to my 30-day average and how that's trending, my average transaction size, my top items, department sales, and then also a graphical view of the same thing. Uh, by default, it's showing me all of my locations uh, in my enterprise, uh, but you potentially could drill down into a specific location um, or you could pick a different date and time. Um, not meant to be super sophisticated, just something really simple to give you good quality, quick information. Hypothetically, what you see on the screen could be customized by our premium services team. So that's what this little wrench is in the upper right hand corner. Definitely do not recommend that uh, you go in there and play around unless you know what you're doing. Um, it's used to actually change the widgets that you see or the data that you see, etc. So very customizable. And that's not just this page. You'll see these little wrenches throughout the application giving us the ability to modify the experience based on somebody's specific uh, business need. On the left hand side we've got our kind of navigation pane and when you click on any of these options you're gonna see um, a menu that slides out so when I click on tools I see all of my different tool options. Um, now I can just find the one that I want and, and click on it um, or I also have a search box um, and so you know here are all my reports and you can see there are many, many, many reports to pick from. Um, so the search box makes it a little bit more friendly to maybe find what you're looking for. So I'm going to type in detailed sales or part of it, and here's my detailed sales report. That's what I was really looking for. Um, additionally, I'm, I'm going to run this report. Notice that I can right click and say open into new tab, and here it's loading in Google, Google Chrome. Um, you can be doing multiple things at the same time with this application in multiple browser windows, which is pretty handy. Um, now, if you don't like the idea of typing the search, you could use the catalog feature, which is found on all of these various options as well. Admin catalog, tools catalog. This is the report catalog. It's exactly the same thing that shows uh, on the slide out menu, but could, when there's so many options, you may prefer to look at it on this basis and then click on a given uh, report to view it or, or whatever it might be. Now, the one place where this is a little bit different is the products menu. So when I type in a search term, it's not filtering this menu for me. Uh, it's actually doing a pre-search for products that contain the word in this case Jack. Um, so here's my product list and you can see Jack was pre-populated uh, as my search term. Um, I could continue to search for a different product etc. So really this is just a convenience just to make it so that there's one less click involved into getting to the product that you might want to get to in order to you know view its sales data or modify its record, change its price uh, etc. Um, I'm going to just head back to the report here for a minute. So this is an example of a report and we have our filter values at the top, how the report is grouped, you know, uh, and summarized. Uh, I can expand specific pieces of data out, um, you know, save the report, etc. So this is not a training today on reports, but Reports are a key feature of the system, so I just wanted to touch on that briefly. Uh, when you're done, you can log out of the application, making it so nobody else can gain access to your data in the browser. I hope this video was helpful.